Cyrus. Right. Now, we saw Miley Cyrus perform earlier on, and I was lucky enough to go and have a chat with her. This is how we got on. Have a look. Now, as if the X Factor wasn't exciting enough, I'm now joined by Miley Cyrus, everybody. <laughs> Happy times here on The Extra Factor. How are you? Good, how are you? Really good, really good. It's so lovely to meet you. Thank you, you too. Now, what do you think of shows like this, like The X Factor, these kind of reality contestant shows? I think it's like a really good opportunity because the hardest part is getting used to being on stage. If I watch mm. from my very first show and now I watch till now, I'm a completely different performer. So I think when you finally do get, you know, a deal or you do start doing concerts, you'll be a lot better because you've had so much practice. So it just gives you just a couple, you know, like free tries. Now, you're only 15. We've got some young contestants, particularly Owen, in the competition. What advice would you give to him? Every time they critique you, I think really take it in because mm. you'll always get notes and, you'll un and you've got to learn how to take those and you need to learn how to take them um, without getting upset first because I would always get upset when people give me notes and now it's really good that um, I'm able to take them because it makes me a better performer. Now, Simon Cowell um, is obviously renowned for being a bit of a nasty judge. Yes. Because um, you say that you should take on board the critique, but sometimes he can be really mean. I don't know what the best way to do it. I think um, always be respectful right. because he's still your judge and he's only trying to help, yeah. but there always will always be a Simon in your life, no matter what you do, no matter what kind of job you have. You always have someone like that, and I think it's good because if you don't have someone that's not, I mean, you can have the best voice of all history, and there'll always be something that you can improve on. Yeah, and you never just want to be like, I'm the best, I'm the best, I'm the best. You need someone like Simon to tell you that you're not the best, that there's other things that you need to do. And sometimes he takes it a little far, but I think that's good because then you know, you know what you can handle. It'll be better for you and you'll grow stronger as a person. How do you stay so level-headed? Well, I'm a really big nerd when I'm not on stage. <laughs> I love nerds. The, I think nerds are The minute really I cool. get off stage, I get on my computer and like sit there and I do all these like movies and I do all these yeah. silly things. So I get just like realize that um, this world, I kind of like stepping out of it for a mm. minute and doing things that normal kids do or at least weird kids do. So don't let that be your whole focus of life. Yeah, Just don't let what you interests. do for a living become your life, that's what I say. That's very good advice. I like that. Thank you. I just made it up in my head. Yeah, yeah, that's should... what I always say. But I just made it up. <laughs> it's good. I liked it. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, thanks so much for chatting with us. Miley Cyrus, everybody.